Well, this is just one of my favorite shows because I have been so mesmerized by this woman named Marilyn Wick, who is, well, she's an entrepreneur. She's a sweet person, too. She's got so much personality, and she's so creative. And Marilyn took on something that no one really in their, their right mind probably would have, but she took over um, a theater that closed. It was the Caldwell, and it is now the Wick Theater. It's the second year, and it is the best theater. It just makes people happy and laugh and stand and want to clap, and it's wonderful. So, Marilyn Wick, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you so much, Anita, for having me on your show. And um, the accolades, I don't know if I'm worthy of them all, but believe me, we are having a time of our life learning about this theater, even though I've been in the industry for 40 years. I I am so excited every day to get up, and we are trying to give South Florida the best possible entertainment that we can. Well, I just have to say it is unique because most of us have been to theater and usually it's wonderful and we see theater that the traveling shows from all over the world actually and then their local shows but something's different about your shows and I must say besides the talent and the music I guess it's the costumes and and of course I always laugh because Marilyn Wick is the costume lady and this was has been your world for how many years 25 years Yes, I've been in the costume business for 40 years now. Oh. It all started, and it's so um, uh, unbelievable that we're having this conversation today on Christmas Eve because all of this started with these five Santa Claus suits on my dining room table <laughs> in 1976. Oh, my heavens. And and tell us why so that... So this is a home project to get to know people we decided. Uh, I was going to teach my daughters how to how to make a little money for Christmas and we could have a good time and get to know the community a little bit better. We had only moved here in uh, 1972. So we did this five Santa Claus suits and put a little ad in the paper and Boca, the Boca Raton News. And sure enough, my children kept saying, no one will ever come and rent these, Mom. I said, oh, I think we'll rent a few anyhow. So sure enough, the phone started ringing off the wall, and that's how this all got started never knowing that I would be so hooked on it yeah, and that it would be something I was going to be doing the rest of my life as a as an entrepreneur. And that wasn't enough. So then I, I know that you were so tempted because you have been providing all the costumes for so many shows all over the world. And here's this theater sitting crying for somebody like you, and you just bit the bullet. But I want to just start talking about some of the shows because okay. I don't want anyone to miss MAME. It's it's only going to play now. Uh, and I don't know if you have any tickets left through December 28th. Do we have tickets left? Yes, we definitely have tickets left. Oh, great tickets for the 28th Sunday, the last performance. And we have tickets left for uh, Christmas Day. Um, and our afternoon performances still have many tickets available. Well, I hope that when you're thinking about a holiday gift for someone, that you buy them a ticket to this show. And they will never forget you. They'll, th- this was the most wonderful thing I took. It's Leslie Uggins. Uh, Ugg, am I pronouncing that right? Uggams? Leslie Uggams, yes. Yeah. Well, she is just so precious and so smart. And I just loved her. And I love that little boy. I mean, anyway, anyone who Yes, has... isn't he a dear? He's <laughs> oh, such yes. a little talent. Well, if people don't remember Maine, uh, you need to come see this. And and I just have to applaud you because the costumes, the music, the acting, I don't know how you do it. Oh, well, thank you. You know, the, uh, Jerry Herman's work, he did Hello, Dolly, the lyric. Or he did Hello, Dolly, Maine. And now, of course, we're going to do the next production of Jerry Herman. We're going to do La Caja Fall. And that, of course, is absolutely going to be a sellout. I I absolutely want people to go buy a subscription now. You still have a chance for a lot of good shows, uh, the La Caja Fall, and then we have some others coming up, which is the uh, the Man of La Mancha, Oklahoma, Dames at Sea. I mean, these are big productions, and the right. theater is gorgeous, and it, it's just when you're in there, you're just taken away. So let me – what's a phone number, a good number? Should it just – should they call uh, – just go online to – Wick. Uh, they can they can call five six one nine nine five 
uh, Christmas Eve, the box office is open till 2. We will be open tomorrow. We open at 12 on Christmas Day. Um, and, and what is the website? And the website is the, T-H-E, WIC dot org. Okay. So I hope that all our radio listeners, they absolutely need to go and start buying tickets for themselves, for their family, for their friends. Um, I know I've taken my husband to a lot of the shows, and he sits there with his mouth open, smiling. He is so happy. And and there was another person who felt the same way, but she really put her uh, money where her brains were as Countess to Hornley. Oh, she was. Oh my heavens! God bless her. She was so enthralled, Marilyn. She sat there because I don't think she expected to see that first time she came what you produced. I hope you realize just how great a job you've been doing. Oh, well, thank you so much, Anita. Your support has been so wonderful. You've helped us in so many ways. Just people appreciating it, and when they come out of the theater with a smile on their face, you know you've done a good job, and that is what it's all about, entertaining people and making them feel, just get a few hours of relaxation. And um, and to remember all these old American classics, that's what I'm trying so hard to reproduce. Well, I, I know that I'm, the La Caja Fall has always been so, so wonderful for me. But my favorite of all, because I actually have oh, what is it? Don Quixote, I have the I have a sculpture of his, uh, not of his, but of the uh, of of Don Quixote and and his um, sidekick, Man of La Mancha. I mean, it is, yes, and it's one of the oh. longest running shows that we're going to have this year. Well, it starts on fe- in February 26th and it's going to run all the way to uh, March 28th. And believe me, we have group rates that are fabulous. And if you have more than 12, you can come. And we, you also can come and see the museum and have a luncheon and then go in in the afternoon and see the show, which makes a, such a wonderful day. It does. There's nothing like this around anywhere. And it is... Um... First of all, Marilyn Wick has this, well, she has two gorgeous daughters, one of whom has jumped in to be right beside her, Kim. Now, I don't know how you produced Kim, but I just, she is absolutely amazing. Yeah, she is an, a, a tremendously creative child. I will tell you, I wish, I, I can't take credit for all the wonderful creative things that she has done. Uh, she's now been made the artistic director of the theater, and she is working hand in hand with sets, costumes, and of course, she is the curator also of the museum. And I'm sure that she is taking charge of all of it. She is, has the most generous personality. She doesn't miss a trick. I mean, you really doesn't fall far. The fruit didn't fall far from the tree, Marilyn. <laughs> oh, thank you. It really didn't. And and I want to go back to what you said. Uh, I don't want that to pass up the the gift shop. There's not a time that I go to the gift shop that I don't buy something. I have to. In fact, I bought the wreath, which I know you wanted it, but I'm sorry I bought it. And I have (laughs) it on. I said, oh, there goes my wreath. That's right. But at least I bought it, so you know it's in good hands. But I live in a condo where they don't really want you to put them on the inside wall. But I live at the end of the hall, and I have my wreath, and I have people from other places in the building coming to see the wreath because it is so beautiful. And your prices are very reasonable. Um, I bought a couple of little, get what they are, these little Santa hat things with the little, um, what, uh, with antlers. Uh, um, I mean, for every show, you have neat things and the people are so friendly there. I mean, I, you, you really are, I know I'm just raving. I, I don't really have. Well, thank you so much. I, 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 I I'm going to have a really big head here. Well, you should. You should because, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm always so fearful of people who, like you, have this great ambition, they have great creativity, and the outside world doesn't step up to the plate. They don't know who you are or what you provide to the, to our community and actually all of South Florida. So let's talk about money now. Let's really get our listeners to buy tickets, buy subscriptions, and to donate money, whether it's just donate you know, money or become a sponsor. How do we do this? Well, here here's the situation. This was the theater that, of course, had fall, fallen, and um, 
we we were so excited to think that we would have the opportunity uh, to actually have finally see our beautiful Broadway clothes. Uh, as being a collector for almost 25 years, I this wardrobe, the wardrobes never really get appreciated. And when we opened the museum, we never really thought that we would have such a response. We opened the museum in Pompano, and it, we ran it there for two and a half years. And people just loved it. So it was a perfect thing to have our theater open the theater, and then, of course, we would have the museum, and they would get to see the original Broadway clothes on stage, which is really very, very unusual after a show closes on Broadway, that you would actually get to see these things again and see, you know, the actual clothes that you can remember seeing we have so many New York people here. So back to why, you know, people had given a lot of money to the Codwell, and it was, it, we felt that we should work very, very hard, and I would put every little living penny I had into this so, and not ask for any money until we had proven that we really knew what we were doing. Well, now we feel like we have proven that, and we know that we can't sustain this place unless we have some generous donations, and they're tax deductible as well. And we really need people to, you know, be a part of this. The community needs to really be a part of it. And to, we want to share this with everyone, and we want to keep the quality of things up. So we will work hard, and people are coming, but you can never, never make ends meet with just filling the seat. That's... I mean, I, I don't think people really totally understand that. Well, Marilyn, yeah, Marilyn knows that I was very much a part of a big theater up in West Palm Beach, and and we always said that we had to have major sponsors. We had to have people that wrote checks for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And and as Marilyn was saying, this is tax deductible. A lot of people make their choices as to what they want to do. But let me put a hat on that I when I come to the theater, your theater, I am not only enjoying myself. I'm enjoying watching just what you said, watching people. Um, get into another place. We know that there we have a lot of older adults here, and we have a lot of people who are caregiving. And they live in a life of 24 hours of caregiving, caregiving. And when you go there, and when you see the people and the way they respond, you know for an hour, two hours, three hours, they are free. And it's extremely important to me as a gerontologist to be able to see someone who is, as she said, she's put all her heart and soul in this, and she's really producing gorgeous stuff. And yet you can go there, and it's like being on a cruise for three hours. And, and that's really how I see what you've done. Oh, well, thank you. You know, all of us should be involved in supporting the arts. It's what keeps us all going. And uh, entertainment is so valuable. And I... It's harder and harder. You have guests coming in from out of town. What are you going to do with them? How many meals can you eat, right? <laughs> <laughs> so going to see a, a, a live production that is quality is really unusual. And this is a very intimate theater, only 230, 333 seats. So to, to really bring quality things to the stage, um, you're in competition with people who have 3,000 feet. And we we want to run this theater and pr promote and devote all of our time and energy towards not only giving great entertainment, but also giving work to the local theater people here, all the technicians, all the crew, wardrobe, makeup, what it takes to... Right now, we've employed 58 full-time people. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And the next production will be the same. So so I have a question. Yes. Uh -huh. The costumes. What is it? I, the costumes. I have to I'll talk about the costumes. So we're watching the show, and all of a sudden, from nowhere, all these people come out with these matching costumes, with costumes that are unbelievable. Now, are you telling me that you own all those costumes and they're just kept in bags from the show 
and 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 the shoes and everything all part of a, one other show that already played somewhere no, else. No, no, all uh, the costume. We have a costume designer that comes and pulls from our wardrobe, and then of course we have to add to things if we don't have it. If the costume designer wants a certain look, and we don't have that look, we go out after it. Uh, we have seventy thousand square feet of costuming at Costume World. And in 2005, I bought the oldest, most established costume house in New York City and moved 15 semi-loads of original Broadway <laughs> clothes. Jeez. So we have we have the garments, and it has a lot to do. In some cases, like when you get to see La Caja Fall, you're going to get to see the actual Broadway clothes that were in the original and the revival. Right. And they are breathtakingly beautiful. Okay, so let's talk about people fitting into this. So let's say someone's very talented, but they're either too well, they're either overweight or they're underweight. Do you have to have someone re uh, re sew them to fit to them? Oh yes, we have a production studio here at Costume World. Everyone comes in for the fitting, and we make or remake the garments so that they will fit. We adjust everything. It, believe me, it's an expensive endeavor. Every production you see on the stage in the real world would rent for about 50000 oh. Well, so, now I just have to... Okay. And Costume World is supporting all that now. We, we donate all the costumes to the Wick Theater. And the Wick Theater is surviving right now by the hard work and dedication of the Costume World staff. I, I know that must be true because it's almost yeah. impossible to see when you even think of La Caja Fall and Man of La Mancha and Oklahoma. <laughs> well, we don't want to. We we don't want to take costume fall down. No, <laughs> We're trying to course. run the theater. No, I know you are, and that's why I'm just going to really. I never beg on this radio show because we have a lot of very needy, very good charities. But if you're looking for first class entertainment right here in Boca Raton, the Wick Theater. Is something you don't want to miss, whether you want to just go for lunch and have a little show, if you want something from their gift shop. But what you want to do is take a bunch of friends and go to the theater, do it for a birthday, for an anniversary, or just because you deserve it. You will never, I, I will tell you what, I personally will guarantee you the ticket. If you go there and you are unhappy, you write me and I'm going to pay you back for what you paid for the ticket. How about that, Marilyn? Oh my gosh, that's unbelievable! Well, that's Thank how so sure I, that's how sure that. I am that they're going to love it. <laughs> they're going to love it, and and you know everyone should know that we are a non for profit five hundred one c, and anything that can be donated before the end of the year would be greatly appreciated. Uh, the um, the Wick family here, the Wick Theater family, will be ever ever so indebted. Uh, so far, we've only. Since I opened this place, thank God for the countess. She gave two hundred and fifty thousand, and we named the lobby in her honor. We have many other naming choices, and other than that, we've only received eleven thousand dollars. Well, that's why we have to get people to know you to to go right. there. We have to have because anyone who goes there, and if they have any extra money at all, they're going to write you a check. So beware! Mm-hmm. If you have money, you better. Keep your checks somewhere else because you're going to write a check. Right. I feel that the Wick Theater is clearly on its way to becoming a cultural hub in Palm Beach County. And we really, really need the support of the community now. We were chosen for 42nd Street uh, from the Boca Observer as the best, for one of the best performing uh, art things, productions that they had seen all year. And this is so important. You know, there's something that I don't oh, think I've mentioned. Magazine, I'm sorry. The top ten musicals. Well, let me tell you what I also love. Usually when you go to the theater, you enjoy it. You walk out to the parking lot. Oh, no. Yeah. Not not here. When you get finished, you sit down. You can have a drink. There's music. There's something going on. Because you want to talk about the theater. You want to enjoy it. You don't want to just leave. And so you have really, just the way you are, very hospitable. You're very, it's just your nature. And that's what you're, it's almost like your living room. You're creating something 
that people can just enjoy and then sit and relax. You go up to people. Oh, I love it when people, honestly, Anita, I just love it when people stay afterwards. We have a piano player. We have wonderful drinks. And I promise you, for La Concha Fall, you will have French cuisine. You'll be able to go there at 5, have a fabulous sit-down dinner, and then you can go in and see the show. The kitchen is just a breath take away from being done now, and we will be putting that on the website. So we have over 500 people who have signed up that love to come and have dinner and the show. And we feel this will be a wonderful added attraction. That's smart. That is brilliant because people don't know what they're supposed to do. When do we go? If it's afterwards, it's too late. Where do we go? We have to get in our car. Right. And we have wonderful valet parking and the and the kids that run the valley parking are so nice. Understand about handicap situations. And this theater is so handicap set. I mean it's easy to get in, easy to get out, it's off the road, and it's so personable, there is not a bad seat in the place. That's really true. I mean, Marilyn, of course, can say anything she wants because, you know, it's her theater. But I don't have yeah. to say anything that she wants me to. <laughs> it's, but I love well, it. I don't have to. Um, now, you know, the year is ending, and it is just a great gift to give yourself is it, to donate. Um, and if you want to, you can just visit us online at www.thewick.org or just call the box office and we will send you a special letter back. We will put you on the, our list and you will always, always be a family member uh, on the donation support list. And of course, when you sit there, you know that because of your donation, that is occurring because maybe there were 50 of your donations and that's what makes it happen. And we can't really, you know, we can only ask you so much, but you really would be supporting something that's really very worthwhile. Um, people who go there, many of them I've noticed are, are uh, even the children are being taken there because their families want to educate them about theater. You know, right. When I look now, at now, here's what we're doing. We're, you know, we will not be closed ever again. We're working very hard at finally finding the right technical support people and we want to keep people employed all year so we will be doing peter pan on june 11th and that is for the children in the community uh it's a fabulous production we will be mounting that and then i will be announcing the season on january 8th at the beginning of uh la Caja fall on the opening night so <laughs> there's a lot of excite exciting things going on the Rat Pack, we do still have 500 uh, available seats. And for the evening, um, to see the Rat Pack on New Year's Eve, the show starts at 8.30. You come and have a beautiful sit-down five-course meal. Uh, then you go in at 10.30, see the, produ the show. Then we have the balloon drop, and we will celebrate and bring in the new year at the theater. And this is the first time that we've had um, an individual support, you know, special entertainment. And I'm hoping to have many, many more of those. Do you ever sleep? I don't. <laughs> I, know. I get up at 3 o'clock this morning and do the payroll. <laughs> oh, I, you know, it's interesting. You know, I know exactly. I, that's why I asked you the question. It's not that it's a one-woman business, but one woman has to be powerful and enthused and passionate and smart. And, of course, along with your daughter, Kim, uh, this will be a success. It is a success, but it will continue. It just We just need to get more people going, more sponsorships. Right. And, right. I mean, when we started, we had 300 wonderful people that decided to trust in us and bought season subscriptions. And one year later, now we have 1,600. So we're really, it, you know, it's it's a leap of faith that we've really impressed people enough and they are enjoying the theater. I can tell when they leave. Very few negative things are ever said. And we have to tell you that the, you know, the public cried out for live music. And we are now, every show is live music. And that's a big expense. Yes, I was just going to say big that. Big expense. That's right. For every production. It's easy to have two and three people as a show. but Yes. But when you do live music and have a nine-piece band, they all get paid, 
you know, correctly, and uh, you're talking about an additional cost versus a tape, uh, but versus a track. Even though some of the tracks are wonderful, people really want to hear live music, and we are we're giving everyone what they have asked for. Well, I know you are. I know you are. Yes. I have to. I just can't tell you again. When my husband and I go, and we sit there, he's shaking his head as more dancers come out and more music comes out and more costumes. And I mean, he can't believe it. And we do a lot of theater, but it is it is so precious, especially the fact that it's almost like a little family owned business. That's what mm-hmm. even makes it so so important. Yes, we really want to connect to our patrons and make them feel that this is their home and we want to hear what they have to say. And all the letters and support I've received through the holidays have just been so supportive because you do get tired, you know. We've been, we've opened this theater, uh, took on the obligation as April, April Fools in 2013. (laughs) And we've barely had a day off since, but we feel that we're, we, we're trying to get a wonderful handle on it, and we want, we want the quality to stay up. So we're trying to hire the best actors, musicians, technicians, and craft people that can bring the expertise to the WIC Theater and make the pro- programming to really, really count. Let me give you the phone number. We've been listening to Marilyn Wick. The phone number to call for tickets or donations is 561 561- Nine nine five two three three three. Again, it's nine nine five two three three three. And just go online, thewick.org. Surprise yourself, surprise them, and I will see you all there. Thank you so much, Marilyn. Oh, I'd like to say goodbye to all your listeners and wish them all a very happy holiday and a fabulous new year. And I really enjoyed talking to Anita, and thank you so much for all the accolades. It's fa- you're fabulous, and thank you so much for your support. It's my pleasure, and I'm going to find you some sponsors. Okay. Okay. Well, go, let's go for it. Okay. Bye. Okay. <laughs> bye. Bye.